Pasting posters for a cultural event is uh, very exciting because first, well, you promote uh, your local culture and uh, you also get to see some very nice uh, visuals and, and posters made by also local artists. Uh, so we are Pepper Boys and uh, our, our main job is to uh, promote uh, local events, uh, parties and uh, stuff like that. Uh, I'm an Instagrammer from London. Uh, I like to explore. So um, whether that's um, exploring abandoned locations or even photographing architecture, you know, architecture is something um, I'm quite passionate about and I love to take pictures of people. Well, I really like telling people stories, so whether it's in words, I do writing and articles or on video, through presenting or interviews, um, just any way I can really. Just outside of Lyon, you can uh, you can find actually the whole uh, Palladium uh, factory, and uh, it's kind of hidden gem. It's an, an amazing atmosphere uh, in there, amazing lights uh, um, crossing the, the these big uh, these big rooms. So it's really a, an amazing place. It's huge, you know. So many rooms in there. Um, also, from a photography perspective, you know, I can imagine doing shoots and stuff in there. So yeah many rooms of different character. Lyon is uh, mostly famous for uh, its gastronomy and also uh, all this uh, skateboarding scene, but there's also a lot of uh, street art and uh, a very important uh, emulation between artists uh, in there. Uh, people like uh, Potter, THTF, uh, Kesa, Don Matteo, uh, many uh, painters, and, and fortunately there are people to uh, shed light on these uh, on these guys. Uh, galleries like uh, Slika, uh, Space Junk is another one that is uh, doing this job perfectly. Um, Lyon is a really nice place for street art, and we are in the in the center space, the first arrondissement. The premier arrondissement is the real place of street art in Lyon and um, there is a big scene, there is a big street art scene. We currently get a, an exhibition from a Spanish artist named Isaac Cordal. He's uh, doing small figurines of 20 centimeters high in cement and he's setting up those uh, pretty nicely to, to say something about politics, education, or civilization, ecology several topics that matter a lot for you. So we are in a Groovage record store. It's a new record store, almost two years old. But it's a really good one because they receive a lot of second hand uh, stuff. So you can always find uh, something different than what you have in uh, the other record store here in Lyon, which are also good, but uh, it's different. But it's also because uh, you come, you see your friends and having a coffee and uh, listen some records and uh, having uh, fun with, uh, with them. So it's a good way to, to dig, different from uh, just uh, being into the, the records. One of the biggest festivals in Lyon uh, is the Nuit Sonore, which takes place uh, in May uh, every year. Huge festival, basically the whole city during one week is, uh, is Nuit Sonore and uh, is about partying and sun and electronic music. and nice like that's one thing I'll definitely say in our like broken English everyone's been really accommodating they really want to tell their story and talk to us um, it's been during the week so I'm looking forward to kind of getting on the dance floor maybe hitting Nuis or Nas and seeing what the parties are like
definitely a place that I would like to stay even longer, you know, um, which is quite crazy considering you have more places to go. So if I feel this way about all the other cities, it's going to be quite a <laughs> difficult trip um, or I'm going to enjoy it a lot, I guess. Um, but yeah, I love Lyon so far. Get in here.